Welcome back, 624 on this Tuesday morning. The Erie VA Medical Center is now looking for people who are willing to open up their homes and become caregivers for area veterans. It's actually a national program that our guest here this morning, Cami Mazza from the VA Medical Center in Erie, is helping to launch right here at home. Good morning, Cami. You're the medical foster home coordinator at the VAMC. Uh, tell us about this program and who exactly it's for. Sure, yeah. So medical foster home is an alternative to nursing home care okay. for veterans who are not able to live at home safely anymore, but prefer a non-institutional setting mm -hmm. and more home-like setting. The veterans actually move into the caregiver's home and the caregiver provides 24-7 care and supervision. Wow, so, uh, so what kind of people, what kind of homes are you looking for? This sounds like, you know, a a unique situation, so I'm sure you've got some unique folks and situations that you're looking for. Yes, we are looking for very special people who um, are passionate about caregiving. Mm. Caregivers can have formal or informal experience with caregiving, such as caring for an ill loved one. Sure. Um, caregivers must own or rent their own home, and um, the caregivers need to live in the home, and that's where they provide the care to the veteran. Um, the individuals who are applying to be a caregiver go through a vetting process and an inspection process to ensure safety and appropriateness of the home. And a great feature of medical foster home is that veterans in the program receive their health care through the home-based primary care team, okay. which is comprised of their primary care physician, social worker, nurse, um, dietitian, and occupational or physical therapist. And this team um, ensures that the caregiver is supported and well-equipped to provide that great care to the veteran. Yeah, so it sounds like you're kind of basically getting the same care that you might in that uh, skilled facility in that foster home. This is not a program that's new to America. It is new to Northwest Pennsylvania. Talk about the success of this program already in places across the country where it's happening. Yeah, so nationally the program has been around for about 20 years. It was originally established at the Little Rock, Arkansas VA. Okay. There are many successful programs throughout the nation right now. Um, there are currently over 500 homes with over 700 veterans served. And we are so thrilled that the program is now coming to the Erie VA, um, and we hope to be able to serve uh, many veterans soon. Yeah, and you gotta start somewhere, right? So we're hoping to start uh, with just a couple of homes here uh, initially. So how can folks reach out, connect with the VA Medical Center and you as the head of this foster uh, care program to help out veterans? It's something here at Erie News Now that we are certainly focused on all the time, uh, our veterans thanking them for their service. So how can folks maybe jump into this foster care program? Yeah. So individuals who are interested in applying to be a caregiver can reach out directly to me by phone. Okay. Um, we'll start with just a discussion and questions about the program. Um, and if it seems to be like a good fit, we can proceed with a formal application and inspection process. Well, excellent. That sounds, and as far as uh, the timing of that sort of, uh, you know, vetting process that you had talked about earlier, do we know exactly how long that might take? Um, it depends, but we can get moving pretty quickly. Okay. It can take, um, on average, about six to eight weeks to get everything going and get approved so we can get ready to place a veteran. All right, we had that QR code up for you there. That's one way to uh, get this information. You can also, again, reach out to Cami at the VA Medical Center. Cami Mazza, thanks so much for stopping by. Best of luck with this uh, program. We wanted you to uh, keep us updated on how it's going. As Thank we, you so uh, much. Get it cranked up. All right, Erie News Now Sunrise coming right back after this quick green tip.